All right, so we're playing Ascension on Black Ops 3 Zombies, but we've got Black Ops 4 perks, and we've also got a gun game mod. So the 1911 just changed to an MR6. Very interesting, but it's based on points, and we can actually knife, so I'm not going to. We're going to do this, like, standard gun game and just shoot. We're using the Reaper's Collection mod. I've been asked so many times to actually upload this. Finally getting around to it. We've been playing as Rick Toppen, so that's how you know it's going to be a good game. I'm not going to have a stupid down, so I'm going to immediately go ahead and buy Quick Revive. I think it might work like the BO4 one, but I'm not sure, where it just gives you faster regen, but we'll see. Oh, we're on to the RK5. Okay. Honestly, it has been a while since I've just used base BO3 weapons. Kill you before the, uh, the spinny thing goes. Dude, the centrifuge is actually quite cool. One of the most unique starting rooms that's for sure. But yeah, we've got a lot of custom perks. So, oh, one isn't actually here this time. Sometimes they'll spawn there. But here we go. One in the corner. Dying wish. Another one in the corner over here. Oh my god, we've got Victorious Tortoise. Well, it's a shame there's no shield on this map. Kind of useless, isn't it? But it's the thought that counts, you know? Not all of the perks have machines, I don't think, but we'll be able to find them anyway. Oh, hello. A death machine. That's kind of cheating. Oh, we have an AK-74U. Okay. Only 37 guns, so, you know, it's not going to take too long for us to go all the way through this. The VMP. This gun was actually in BO4, so it's kind of fitting. Oh, we've got another perk in the corner. What's this? Time slip. Cool, they have, like, actual custom perk machines as well. Looks neat. Stone Cold Stronghold. I remember using that for high rounds. Good old BO4 camping strats that were totally not boring as hell. Right, power on. We've got the box here. Another perk. Oh my god, my eyes. PhD slider. Hello. This is interesting because we've... Oh yeah, we've got random perk power up drops. We now have time slip, which is pretty nice. Oh my god, the perks all lit up now. It, it looks so cool. I'm assuming the points are going to take longer and longer to cycle through, but anyway. Oh my god, time slip looks so good actually with these little like side pink bits. Stone Cold Stronghold looks all right, you know, it looks about as standard as you'd think. But the reason I wanted to do a gun game mod is we can just focus on this Wonder Fizz and keep on buying perks. So now we have Dying Wish, very nice. We're actually going to get the monkeys now. Um, I wonder how they're going to react. Because we don't exactly have, well, I guess we have Quick Revive, but that's really it, isn't it? Never mind, it's zombies anyway, okay. Ooh, the Vesper. There was definitely a gun very similar to this in BO4, I'm forgetting exactly what it was. But this Reaper's Collection mod has so many combinations of things you can do. I could put Cold War perks on, I could put Cause and Effect on as well as perks. Like, I was tempted to do that, but I thought we'd do a gun game. Sadly, there's no custom weapons yet. They were trying to, like, work on it, but apparently they were having issues modding it in. Which, you know, fair enough. Oh, we have 3,000. Exactly enough for two spins. Let's go. What did we get? We... Uh, oh, time slip made that faster, for sure. We got Zombshell, shell, I think. And we got... Is that PhD slider? Hello. Good old perk. So when we slide, it should just explode all of the monkeys. Yeah, they like glitch out and sort of stand still. I have to be careful because they actually killed me last time they did this. Hey, what's up, monkey boo? Little gremlins. Hello. Yes, I get it. They're not actually going for quick revive, unless they are. I mean, I'll go check. Hello, what's up? I mean, I'm here. I don't see one. Well, there's one left, dude. Where is he? Oh, I hear him. There we go. <laughs> Didn't get a free perk, but whatever. Oh, yeah, I did a few quality of life changes. Like, we've got Black Ops 4 max ammos. So every time you get one, it automatically reloads your gun. Very, very nice. So PhD slider, do I get like an explosion? No, is it literally just immunity to explosive damage? I mean, if I slide into you, oh, there we go. Okay, I was going to say the puck would be a bit pointless otherwise. Whoa, what? What is that? Zombshell? Oh, that's Zombshell. All the zombies around get like slowed down. It's kind of cool. There are some very unique perks in Black Ops 4. It's almost like they were the gobble gums, but they weren't because you also had elixirs. It was very confusing. It'd be cool if you could customize your HUD with the Reaper mod, but I don't think you can do that. But we'll definitely mix and match, do some like Cold War plus cause and effect thing. That would be cool. Oh, here we go. Zombshell again. Bang, bang, bang. Double points. We're actually going to fly through the guns faster because it's based on points and not kills. You can actually toggle it so it is based on kills, but I thought, eh, we'll try it out. Oh, and we've got PhD slider, so XM53 is actually pretty decent. Kaboom! Bang. And last one. Bye-bye. Jesus, that PhD slider cooldown. Is that really that long? What did we get? I think, is that speed cola? No, it can't be. Oh, Victorious Tortoise. Yes. Totally useful. What is this? Oh, is this death perception? Okay, not bad. Oh, we get to see zombies through walls. Oh my god. 
world. I can't say it's... Oh, no, it is working. You can just about see them through the walls. Interesting. Death Perception has only been on like one or two custom maps on the whole of BO3, I swear. But it's kind of cool to have, you know? I mean, we might as well turn on this pack of punch even though uh, these guns go through quite quickly. Well, saying that, there's 1,400 points needed. We cannot get Jug, of course, because BO4 moment. All right, first lander down. Sniper view of you while I'm flying off. Oh, I see a perk over there. Oh, no, it's just that uh, time slip one, I think. All right, one out of three landers done. Oh, hello, bloody hell. Go around the corner and fucking zombies there waiting for me. There's probably going to be more custom perks. Oh, yes, here we go. Ethereal Razor. Melee can affect multiple zombies and greatly increases damage and melee attacks heal. Interesting. Then we've got classic stamina up. I kept that on because stamina up was in BO4. Oh, another one. This one looks interesting. Blood Wolf Bite. Oh, we definitely need to get that. One of my favorite perks of all time, actually. Luna is a complete and certified legend. Oh, another one. Winter's Whale. Oh, it's basically bootleg Widow's Wine. Oh, we, we got a new gun. That's funny. All right, we should be able to go now. See, so yeah, this mod has a lot of potential. We could do some really spicy things here. I'm not going to lie, Brecci is kind of a uh, doo-doo right now. It's not even one-shotting. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. That is one of the issues is we don't have double tap on. Um, so our guns are kind of going to be a little bit weaker. You take for granted just how good double tap 2.0 actually is until you play BO4 and it's like, oh, it doesn't exist. Right. You've got the multiple packet punches, which kind of don't really make up for it. But it's supposed to be the system that replaces it. Oh, at least we have an insta-kill. Finally, it's useful. I've got two zombies left. Let's go and do this last pad. I guess we'll go this way. In before, I don't even have enough points. Oh my god, it's 1250 as well. No! Is there at least any perks around here? What's this? Blaze phase. Crouching causes a charge up of fire. Standing releases it and flings you to forward igniting zombies. What the hell? Can't say I ever used that in BO4, not gonna lie, but we got the KRM now. Hopefully this is a better gun. Can't say I'm too hopeful. I think Ascension's a pretty good map. It's just, eh. It was never one of my favorites of all time. Like, it's fun to play. When you play it, it's enjoyable. But I would never choose to actively play this map over some of the others that are on this game, you know? Or on BO1. I'd rather play like Call of the Dead. All right, let's get on out of here because our gun is not doing much damage. And now we've done all the pads, so we can actually go and pack a punch if we get a gun that's just really bad and we just need to. But we can also focus on getting perks now, which is good. Can't wait to go around this corner and there'd be 20,000 zombies. Dude, that reminds me of uh, someone sent me a TikTok of myself. Oh, God. I'll play the clip because it's just hilarious. Can I go and get Jug, though, is the question? Jug? <laughs> Like, bro, I've never been that scared playing zombies in all my life. I remember that back in the day when we were playing Call of the Dead. I think we were doing PAP on every single Black Ops 1 map. All right, well, we've got enough to actually get another perk, so why not? What's the... Oh, is it Winter's Whale? Let's go. Definitely not bad. It's one of the better perks in BO4, but it's just... It's no Widow's Wine, you know? It's just not as good. Oh, I've got bloody monkeys. Oh, I love these rounds. I can't wait to just get absolutely demolished by them. Do they still stand still? Oh my god, they do. Look at this bow. So, so goofy. Like, they just, they just refuse to move. Okay, well, free kills for me, I guess. I think I hear him over here somewhere. Ah, there you are. There's probably one left. Where are you? Oh, there you are. What's up, bro? Still not getting any free perks. I guess they have to touch the perks once and then you, like, stop them or something. I don't know. Because I thought it was if they don't touch a single perk. Oh my god, look at that winter's whale. What the hell? Okay, that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. What isn't cool is the fact that this KRM is just barely even... It doesn't even one-shot. Oh, thank you, the Argus. This should actually one-shot them. Yeah, seems to. Gotta be a little bit more accurate with it, but it's whatever. This is basically like the futuristic Model 1887. There is actually a Modern Warfare Guns Reapers Collection mod, but this is the main one and it only has BO3 guns, so we could always use that at some point if we wanted to. Oh my god. Bro, that's so cool. We can afford two more perks. I think we've got almost all of them. What are we missing? Like stamina up? Oh, is that mule kick? Please tell me it's not mule kick. Oh no, it's stone cold stronghold. Okay. So if we stand still, it should just put us a little a thing down. Oh, and we got double tap. I did put double tap on. Yeah, it's kind of to compensate for not having the pack a punch. But yeah, we've got this little circle that it places down, which is so cool, actually. Oh, and another free perk. Don't mind if I do. Bandolier bandit. I think that literally just gives us more ammo, right? Which I mean, I can't necessarily complain about. Carpenter refreshes our shield, which is nice, but we don't have a shield on this map. So if we were doing this on something like Origins, it would be quite cool. But doing Origins without Jug and a three hit down would be a bit tragic. 
Plus, I've done a lot of Origins recently, so we're going to, like, give that map a little bit of a break, I suppose. But thank you, Haymaker, for being decent. I mean, it's mostly double tap. So, yeah, if we stand in the circle of the Stone Cold Stronghold thing, so we'll do it, like, we'll do it here. Why not? It should give us some, like, armor. We can walk around in here as much as we want to. It won't move. But I think it gives us, like, what, extra hits or something? Oh, well, Winter's Whale moment, but, you know. Oh, sniper time. Uh-oh. I mean, the SVG is honestly not that bad. It's just, would I rather have this or some kind of godly SMG or assault rifle? I'd much rather have something full auto. But it could be worse. I mean, at least we can actually camp with uh, Stone Cold. It seems to be, like, charging on the bottom of the perks. I don't know exactly what it does, but it's cool. Oh, yeah, so I just took one hit and then the, uh, the armor disappeared. So, yeah, it does give you armor, which is cool. But, I mean, I can't exactly stand still right now. The, uh, the zombies are a little bit maniac. Maniacal, is that the word, I think? And pew. Oh, one to the Dracon. Nice. I want to say that's all the BO4 perks. Let's go and check the Wonder Fizz. No, there's still more. Okay. What are we missing? What is this, dude? I don't even know what I just picked up. Was that a respin cycle or something? What? Oh, Blood Wolf Bite. How could I forget you? My absolute favorite. Thank you, Luna. So if we get enough kills, we should just get like a wolf companion, which would be cool. What's this? Ah, oh, Blaze Phase. Okay. So, oh God, I tried to crouch. Don't kill me, please. So I think Blood Wolf Bite just activates when we get a bunch of kills. So let's try. We've got like a ton of zombies here. Come on. Give me, give me the wolf. Nothing? No? Nah. Oh wait, it's saying that it's active. What? Luna? Oh my god, that, that explosion. That was quite neat. Another free perk. Don't mind if I do. No. Oh my god, that dying wish activated. That was clutch. I would have totally lost everything. Oh, I got stamina up. Nice. You know, scratch that. We're only on gun 17 of 37. I said it was going to be quick, dude. Oh, we've got dead shot. They didn't have a BO4 specific dead shot, so I just put on the, uh, the BO3 one. But it should be the BO4 version, maybe. I don't know. Ethereal Razor. And is that it? That's it. We've got all of the perks. Now we'll save for Pack-a-Punch. And oh, we're onto the Locust, of course. Oh, monkeys. Here we go. Some bozos. Come on, show your ass where they are. Oh, here we go. These ones don't freeze, at least. Go away, bro. You're so annoying. They're not taking any of the perks, are they? They're not taking stamina up. I don't know what they're doing. Hello, monkeys? Weird little monkey things. Oh, that's weird. My ammo on the bottom right changed from, like, it had 70 in the reserve and it went down to 50. I wonder if it's, like, the gun game mod is negating the bandolier bandit. I'm being scammed, dude. What the hell? I'm kind of glad the monkeys just don't work on this because having them constantly taking all of these perks would be a bit insane. Where am I going to get my Luna, man? Oh, it says it's nearly charged. Yes, yeah, so you really need to get a lot of kills back to back, which with one of these guns, it just isn't going to be that doable. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Luna? 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 Hey, let's go, Luna. What the hell? Go, Luna. Go, Luna. Dude, that's so cool. She's huge as well, by the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's mauling them and she's giving me points. That's so cool. Kaboom. Wait, Winter's Whale applies when she gets hit. That's so sick. No, she exploded. Oh, it's fine. She'll come back eventually. Sadly, it has quite a long cooldown, but that's... Dude, that's so cool. Well, we have enough to pack a punch now. I suppose we should probably go and do that soon. At least, I mean, the L4 Siege is doing pretty decently with... Oh my god, how am I getting hit? And it's procking Winter's Whale. I don't get it. I don't even know what I was saying, dude. I got interrupted. Oh god, no! Oh, you're serious, dude. There's no worse feeling because you lose all of those perks. Like, I know I could totally just spin the Wonder Fizz and get them all back, but oh, come on, dude. That's just painful. That's the problem when you don't have Jug, though. You just get caught off guard. I was like, oh yeah, I can tank a few shots. And now I have a Shiva. Oh, brilliant. Are you serious? An, I'm stuck with a Shiva. No double tap. I'm going to try and somehow kill these zombies. I guess we need to go pack a punch it. I suppose we could get enough points just from shooting into them, but that would be a bit cheap. Oh, we haven't even activated the rocket thing yet. Oh my god, dude. Well, I mean, let's, let's activate it. Oh god, jump over the zombie. Ooh. Oh, another perk machine. Zomb shell. All right, I know rocket is very cool and all, but just let me in. I want to pack a punch, dude. Pretty please. Pretty please. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, so I think the high round strap for this map is training up here, right? If we just circle up the zombies, we run on in here and go pack. Oh, never mind. There's still more spawning. All right, now we'll quickly go and pack a punch. This is going to be so risky. How are we supposed to do this? How are we supposed to do this? No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got it somehow. I got it. I got it. Ah, oh my life! 
It worked. It worked, apparently. That makes no sense, but I'm not complaining. I guess I'm just that skilled. Oh, and all that, and then it just disappears anyway. Classic. I mean, screw it. We'll just pack a bunch of this as well, then. Skull piercer. The M16 on BO3. So disappointing, man. Oh, another perk just randomly hit. Bandolier, bandit. Okay. Oh, we have an M16 and a skull piercer. Interesting. Oh my god, no, don't kill me. Ah! Christ, dude. We could relax. God, this gun is just so underwhelming. It really does, like, no damage at all for a pack of punched gun on round 19. Kind of wish I had a dingo right now. Oh, we got an M8A7. Another burst gun was just quite underwhelming. And this one isn't pack a punched So I don't know if we'll be able to do this. Without Jug, it's kind of uh, tragic. I don't know. I think we have a chance. I would love to just go and buy more perks, but I kind of can't. Okay, we have a full auto. That's something. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. That was close. Yeah, see, we're already almost off this. Boom. And next one, FFAR. Not bad. We've got one zombie left. And we can spin the perks a few times. Okay. Okay. And we got dead shot first. First. Oh my god, Deadshot almost killed me. Oh my god, is that double tap? Let's go, dude. Pretty much the best perk we could get from that. That was the problem with BO4 zombies, man. There were so many just very mid perks. Like, Dying Wish and Deadshot in BO4 was kind of good, but Dying Wish was like one of the best. Oh, our zombie shell is still on cooldown after rebuying it. Bro, come on. What is this recoil? Oh my god. Lisa's gun's kind of decent. Thank you, double tap, for saving the day. Oh god, hello, where did you come from? God almighty. Oh shit, well this isn't good, is it? Oh my god. Oh, oh no, please. So please, 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 please. I've had so many clutches this game, actually. Jesus Christ. Just somehow not gone down in those dumb situations. I guarantee when I actually go down, it'll be so stupid as well. Ah, the Man of War. Oh, they're all frozen. Is that Zombshell? Let's go. Coming in kind of clutch. I've got a drop over there. I mean, I'd ooh, love to go pick that up, actually. Move out the way. Oh, yeah. Insta's gonna be very useful right now. HVK. We've only got nine guns left. This is almost longer than the actual like weapon packs dude they started off being like 200 points needed and now it's like 4,000 for each all right that's the round i think we might get monkeys so let's just buy a few more perks yeah here we go get a little bit of downtime death perception oh brilliant that's just what i need right now dude oh hi monkey go away what how are you still alive how tanky are you monkeys Oh my god, they take like 20 bullets to kill. This is uh, not exactly ideal. Every time I see a red perk, I'm like, oh my god, Jug, finally. But no, but it is Luna, so I gotta appreciate that. Another red perk. Oh my god, Jug. Nope, just kidding. Ethereal Razor. Oh my god, we actually get to see the knife. That's cool. Ooh, it's like blue and green almost. Well, we've got most of these perks back now. Bandolier Bandit, totally useless because the gun game gives us unlimited ammo. PhD Slider. Should I buy this trap? I feel like the automatic turret is kind of useless but hey it killed that zombie i suppose time slip i've only got like four more perks left having to just rebuy them is a pain i've already got this one. Oh, hi 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 ow okay whoa <gasps> luna let's go what's up my girl get the nuke though luna is such a badass dude she's one big wolf oh my god you can pat her oh that's so adorable, dude. Oh my god. You can pat the doggo. Let's go. I think you can do that in BO4, but I forget. Maybe I'm thinking Cold War. Oh, and she's giving us points. Just passively progressing through the guns. Another Insta. Nice. Uh, we're on to LMGs. We don't actually have stamina up yet. How do we not have stamina up, dude? Oh, and that is the round. I mean, we could go and buy stamina up, I suppose. But there's not really much point. We might as well just spin for it. I know it's literally only around the corner, but... Oh, no. But we got Winter's Whale. I mean, that's also a very good perk in this game except i have no charges and i can't buy it i can't buy any more perks oh my god and you're here hello i don't think we're missing many perks to oh hi go away please i beg oh my god why are you all here? why do i have the gorgon just give me the fucking stamina up give me give me do i have this no i do have this okay oh why did i back myself into this corner of all corners hello thank you death perception for actually showing me where the zombies are oh well this is not good is it oh lordy okay okay slip through through the gaps, slip through the gaps, gotta loop back around. How have I not died yet, bro? I don't think there's a single perk we're missing, though. I think that's all of them. And the Wonder Fizz isn't letting me spin anymore, so I would just assume so. Uh, should we activate the trap? I mean, it doesn't progress us at all, so it's kind of no point. I did kind of like the modifier thing they were going for when they were doing Black Ops 4 perks, but it, you know, they really just weren't anything to write home about. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention, this mod has, like, custom gobble gums, as you can see, so we could also mess around with those oh my god D like there 
How did I not die? <laughs> go on, Dredge. Go on, Dredge. You know, but Dredge is kind of underrated, to be honest. Or oh, free perk. Oh, quick revive. Did I really not get quick revive? I could have totally died and just, like, not known. Quite hilarious, actually. Onto the dingo, finally. And all these guns don't have attachments as well, so the reload is just so much longer. Since, you know, no speed cola, sadly, in BO4. I think your weapons would reload faster when you'd get all four perks. So it was kind of like you had five perks. Which, I wasn't actually, like, too annoyed with that change. That was kind of unique. But everything else in BO4 for perks, not a fan. Come on, how many points do we need? 700. There's 69 zombies left in this round. We've only got three more guns after this. A Reagan Mark II? Okay, don't mind if I do. Oh, let's go. Blaze phase doing work. That's actually so cool we get the rig on Mark II. Except the fact that the points are like barely anything. You barely get to use it, dude. It's already almost done. <laughs> like, come on. Literally, these few kills out yet yeah, and it's done. But we got the Thunder Gun. Okay. So it actually is the map's wonder weapons for the gun game. I, I appreciate that. Because the weapon packs, they usually just finish off with... I don't know if they do the Mark II, but they definitely don't do like the Thunder Gun or the WAF or anything like that. Trouble is, the points we're going to need for this are going to... Gonna take a while because the thunder gun only gives like 20 points for a kill which is really not good then again we do get unlimited ammo so as long as i'm not stupid should be fine I haven't had luna in a while she is off cooldown now so i mean if we get enough kills hopefully we can charge her up we just stop getting hit with the winter's whale dude all right i mean this is a lot of kills come on give me a luna no no luna <sighs> Tragic. Only thing I have to be careful with is there's no speed cola with this. And the thunder gun. I mean, the reload isn't that bad, actually. Let's go PhD slide. Never mind. Okay. PhD slide. Oh my god. Nope. It just doesn't want to work, apparently. PhD. Nope. <laughs> scammed every time another free perk don't mind if i do mule kick ah yes definitely not useless okay we need 600 more points maybe we can get it this round uh, if each one's 20 unless we got a double points i don't think we can could use the death machine but oh never mind we got a nuke there we go that's enough and that should give us yep the standard ray gun the final one it's always the ray gun dude oh and of course we have bloody monkeys gotta ruin my fun huh I mean, at least we have PhD, actually. She's quite nice. Did I just lose all my Winter's Whale because I took damage? I think I did. <laughs> Bro, you can't be serious. Also, how is this not one-shotting them? How many shots does it need? Come on, dude. Monkeys. Pew, 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 pew. Are they going for my mule kick? I reckon they are. Get off my mule kick, dude. They're actually going for a perk this time. Interesting. Last one. Hello, how many shots? Nope, there's one more. Oh, God, go away. There we go. Round 27. Jeez, this was a long one. Almost a thousand kills, dude. I mean, 800, you know. All right, a couple full hordes. If we get a double points, we can get this done off one horde, but should be fairly quick. How, dude? How? Oh, hello, Luna. 1,200 points needed. How? Wait, Luna? Luna, no! There you go. Run, run. Why are you attacking me? What are you doing? Why is Luna chasing me? What is happening? Oh, there we go. I won. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.